the Your Credit Matters segment today being brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report, it's wrong. What are you doing about it? Credit Sanitizer has a solution. How to audit your own credit report step by step. Keeping your credit report error free is key to keeping an eye on your finances and catching warning signs of fraud. Your credit information gives lenders an idea of how responsible you are and errors can paint you unfavorably. That said, we should all be more vigilant about monitoring our credit data. To start, grab a copy of your credit reports to get a detailed look at your credit history. The big three credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, are offering free weekly credit reports through annualcreditreport.com until April 20th, 2022. After that date, you can still access your free credit reports once each year. Lenders may check any or all of your reports with the three credit bureaus, so it's important to review each of them carefully. I've told you this before. I only use myfico.com, myfico.com. I have that on my phone. It tells me, keep monitors, my wife and my credit. I get a, a email from it or a text message from them every time it changes. I do it a little uh, overboard, I guess a lot of people would say, because I can't report it to you from an educational standpoint if I'm not watching it myself. Review your personal information. Your personal information identifies who you are, where you've lived and where you work. Review these details to verify your name, birthday, current, and previous addresses. Social security number and employment information. Personal information does not impact your FICO score, so they say, but these details help creditors verify your identity and protect you from fraud. My name changes every couple of months on my FICO report, and I have seen a nine-point change when my name changes. I'm just throwing that out there for you. They say it doesn't affect it, but I've watched it change. How do you change your name? Well, my middle name is Ivan. First two letters of Ivan are I-V. I've had some companies that changed my name to Ronald Siegel I-V, being the fourth. Well, I'm not the fourth. I look like four people, but I'm not the fourth, right? So when I call and I, or I write them and I tell them, hey, you got this wrong, they change it back, score goes up. Then the company reports again. I've told the company over and over again, my name is not the fourth. They don't get it. Your credit cards, loans, and other accounts make up the bulk of your credit report information. Read through each account checking for the smallest errors, a few things to pay attention to. Date opened, account number, payment history, credit limits, account status, past due amount, account holder status, for example, co-signed or authorized user, paid, canceled, or discharged. Here's the issue. Nothing has to be on your credit report. Everything that on your credit, everything that is on your credit report must be complete, accurate, and verifiable. So when they just put part of your account number on there, that's not complete. So it could be removed for that if you needed it to be. If you have, have accounts in forbearance or you're on a debt management plan with a credit consumer credit counseling agency, make sure your account status and payment history are reported accurately. Make sure the accounts are all yours, accounts that don't belong to you. Could be the result of a simple clerical error or identity fraud, or sometimes rogue collection agencies place accounts on credit reports in an attempt to collect payment. Clerical errors and invalid collections can be resolved with a credit report dispute. With identity fraud, you'll need to file an identity theft affidavit before spend, sending a dispute to have these accounts permanently blocked from your credit report. Review inquiries each time a company accesses your credit report to pre-screen you opt out prescreen.com opt out prescreen.com if you don't want those things done inquiries you don't recognize could be a sign of identity theft outdated information most negative information can only be reported for seven years the exception is chapter seven bankruptcy which can report for 10 years and inquiries which were reported for two years negative information will generally drop off your credit report when it's time but make a note to any account still being reported i've seen many many errors due to bankruptcy Handling credit report errors. If you find mistakes on your credit report, you can write to the bureaus to have them corrected. Send the letter, return receipt requested with a copy of your social security light number, your social security card, driver's license, and a utility bill. That way they know that it is you who's making the claim. That's the Your Credit Matters segment brought to you by creditsanitizer.com. You have a credit report. It is wrong. What are you doing about it? And 
being that we're talking about it, how about a free book? rsrcreditbook.com, rsrcreditbook.com. You can get a copy of our latest book on your FICO scores. rsrcreditbook.com, go there. It is compliments, a gift from Ron Siegel Radio.